Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Igor. I work on the C Languages and Libraries team at Apple. Uh, and today I'd like to talk about the work that we started to make LLVM APIs convenient to use from Swift. If you ever wanted to use LLVM in a Swift project, for example, write a static analysis tool in Swift, or embed LLVM into a mobile app, this is what you were looking for. Swift is a language that strives to be safe by default and has a mix of functional and declarative features. Swift already provides interoperability with C and Objective-C, and in the past year, we have been making an ongoing effort to allow Swift code to seamlessly interoperate with C++ code, while putting a focus on safety, performance, and ergonomics. Swift and C++ interoperability opens a wide range of opportunities. One of them is using LLVM APIs directly from Swift without the need for a manually written C bridging layer. Our vision is to make LLVM APIs convenient and safe to use from Swift. That means working with LLVM containers like small vector or ArrayRef using Swift sequence APIs, relying on Swift's memory management features and other features like the ability to create domain specific languages using trailing closures, string interpolations, and potentially result builders. This also opens an opportunity to rethink the way LLVM APIs can be used in conjunction with functional paradigms that are not common in C++, while reusing the existing implementation of LLVM without having to rewrite it in Swift. The folks who are working on Swift are interested in writing parts of the Swift compiler in Swift language itself, and have already started doing that. That code will be made much nicer with Swift LLVM bindings. The implementation of the Swift compiler will call most of the LLVM APIs that it requires directly, while a small subset of the APIs is extended or refined by the Swift LLVM bindings. Let's take a look at a small example of how we can use LLVM from Swift. Here we have a Swift function that takes a parameter of the C++ type LLVM callbase. In the body of the function, we call a C++ method args, which returns an instance of a Swift sequence. This allows us to write clear and concise code for collection transformations by leveraging Swift's standard library. The Swift collection functionality is made available for LLVM collections. As you can see in this code, we use the enumerated method and the dictionary initializer that are provided by the Swift standard library. For instance, if we need to map arguments of a call to their parameter indices, that can be written in a couple of lines of Swift code. Transformations like these can require more C++ code to create a map and insert existing entries into it. Here's a brief overview of how the Swift standard library APIs will be made available on LLVM collection. With Swift and C++ introp, you can make C++ types conform to Swift protocols. Here in particular, I'm conforming the LLVM small vector to Swift's random access collection protocol. This makes all of the Swift's collection APIs available on small vector. In this case, the compiler actually automatically synthesizes the conformance for small vector based on the fact that small vector's iterator type implements the requirements of C++ random access iterator. So we get this conformance for free and you don't need to add any conformances manually. Conformance to collection protocols is just one of the aspects of Swift and C++ interoperability, which provides a lot of functionality to expose C++ APIs ergonomically to Swift. Swift and C++ introp is a feature under active development, and Swift LLVM bindings project is in very early stages. We have significant community participation in Swift and C++ intro effort, and we'll be excited to see more folks contributing to it in the open source. The three people at Apple who mainly work on this are Zoe, Alex, and me. All three of us are at the conference today, and we'll be thrilled to talk to you about it. Thanks for listening.